Hi, welcome along to the Arsenal Fan TV Transfer Daily. Um, this program where we take a look at uh, players that have been linked with a move to Arsenal today. Uh, it's Monday today, the 20th of January. We, we, you know what, we're moving rapidly through this January transfer window, which of course closes on the 31st of January. So only 11 days left and still no players bought in yet at Arsenal. Still lots of players getting linked though. Um, let's start off with the player that's the hottest player being linked today to Arsenal, and that's Mirko Vucinic. Now, Mirko Vucinic, he plays his football for Juventus. Um, a couple of seasons ago, he was like one of their hottest players. Um, a sort of fallen out of favour a little bit there with uh, the arrival of Carlos Tevez and also Lorente. And um, Arsenal reportedly won him on loan. Juventus, though, are more interested in selling him. The sticking point is he's 30 years of age, and Juventus want about £11 million for him, and I just can't see Arsenal doing that. But Arsenal are very, very keen on a loan. Of course, they are short of strikers. Arsene Wenger even admitted at the weekend that they're looking for strikers, even though Nicholas Bentner and Yaya Sanogo are, are looking like they're going to be coming back from injury. But he's looking for a, a striker that will help to create the cover, first of all, um, for Olivia Giroud, and also a striker that can make an impact off of the bench. And he looks at Vucinic, he is a top striker, and he thinks that he could definitely come in and do a job. Now, there's rumours flying around today that um, Vucinic's agent is in London um, to talk to Arsenal. Of course, he could be in London talking to Tottenham, he could be in London talking to anybody. Um, but the rumours are is that he's in London today for talks with Arsenal, about um, a possible move. As I said, I can only really see it happening if it's going to be a loan deal. If it's a loan deal, um, I, I think Arsenal, yes, they could be very interested in making that one happen. If it's um, straight money buy, like what Juventus won, I just cannot see Arsenal parting with that kind of money for a player that's um, 30 years of age. They just won't do it. So we're going to have to watch this space on that one, but we may find out a little bit more about that one later on today tomorrow, Mirka Vucinic. Um, another player that's been heavily, heavily linked with Arsenal, um, a player that I was thinking that this would be a strongly likelihood that this deal, of all the deals, could be the one that may happen, and that was Alvaro Morata. He's been hot ever since the windows open. Again, Arsenal won him on loan, um, and uh, Real Madrid, they don't want to sell him, basically. They've, they've already said they don't want to sell him. Arsenal interested, Tottenham interested, Liverpool interested. Um, well, the player himself has come out now and says that he wants to stay at Real Madrid. So that could be the end of that one because uh, Morata's come out and he said, listen, this is a club that I've grown up at and I want to stay here at Real Madrid. I don't want to move. So that could be the end of the Morata um rumours or the Morata thing happening at all this January transfer window because there was talk the other day that Real Madrid were willing to part with him but they want £70 million on a permanent deal but Morata himself now has come out and said I want to stay at Real Madrid so that could be that one dead and dusted. Julian Draxler, another player that's been heavily linked. Um, there were even some um, people in the media reporting that the deal could even get done today. I always saw that as a highly, highly unlikely. Um, but what's interesting now is that apparently Manchester United, after their um, bad defeat yesterday, you look at their team, they're obviously missing um, that creative player in midfield. They passed on the Ozil deal, which now looks absolutely ridiculous what they did there. Well, apparently they're interested in Draxler now, and they would like to bring... Um, Draxler to come and play in Manchester, so they're willing to compete with Arsenal to try and get Draxler. If I was Julian Draxler and I was looking at the two teams right now, I mean, where would you want to go? Arsenal or Manchester United? It would be Arsenal all day long. As well, there's all the German connections, and plus as well, David Moyes doesn't look too steady um, at the moment um, at the club. So, but they have entered the race, apparently, and of, of course you know that Manchester United would be able to compete financial-wise, so um, just to keep you updated on that one, the Draxa thing still rumbles on. Whether that will get done this January transfer window or whether that's going to be um, a big uh, epic one during the summer, um, we're going to have to wait and see. Probably more 
the summer than now. But just that's an update on the Draxa. This one totally left field. Totally left field. This one. Arsenal today in some media outlets being linked with a move for Edison Cavani. Now, I think it's just because Edison Cavani has apparently expressed that he's not very happy at playing in France. He's, he, he's not happy with the standard of football, not happy with the passion in France. I mean, if you, if you look at French football, um, there's some very good players playing in France, but in comparison to the Premier League with the, with the crowds and, you know, the passion and there's so many, so much competition, um, it's nowhere near. It's nowhere near playing um, in the Premier League. I mean, you know, you, you've got Monaco, you've got um, Paris Saint-Germain, you've got Marseille, but after that, you know, there's nobody really to compete with the, with those um, three big guns there. And plus, as well, Cavani hasn't really been getting much of a play. Um, you know, he, well, when I say much of a play, he's getting a play, but he's not the main man at Paris Saint-Germain. He's left around um, Ibrahimovic. And apparently he's, you know, he's moaning a little bit. And, of course, <laughs> you know what the uh, media outlets are like. They're, they're linking him with a move away. And Arsenal were interested, remember, um, before. Um, they wanted to um, buy Cavani before, but Napoli refused to sell. So, obviously, he's been linked with a move to Arsenal, amongst a host of other clubs as well. But we'll have to watch the space on that one. But I think that's highly, highly unlikely, especially in this January transfer window. Um, that he would be sold, and he would be very expensive, because remember, I think Paris Saint-Germain paid about £56 million pounds for him, so that would be a very, very expensive transfer if that would happen. Not sure if Arsene Wenger would be willing to splash out that amount of money, although he is a world, world-class striker. Um, of course, on Arsene Wenger, um, Stan Kroenke apparently in London today to tie up the deal to uh, give Arsene Wenger extended contracts um, worth over 20 odd million, 24 million they're quoting, um, to sign Arsene Wenger up. Um, now this would be very important actually because if Arsene Wenger signs up, signs a new deal, that means that um, players that are coming to Arsenal know that Arsene Wenger is going to be there. Remember, a lot of players out there come to Arsenal because they want to work with Arsene Wenger. So it is an important deal to get done. Apparently, the rumours are that that deal is going to get done today. And there's also been rumours flying around that Bakary Sanya um, still hasn't um, agreed on signing a new deal, still stalling a little bit, still trying to you know get certain things tied up on his deal. Um, of course, there are clubs out there that really want to get Sanya. Another one that's entered the race today is Napoli. They, they, they are lurking around. They're very interested to get Sanya if that deal doesn't get done. But those are most of the rumours today. As I said, the hottest rumour today is the Vucinic thing. We're going to have to watch this space today to see if that happens. Let me go to some of your comments that you left. And don't forget to leave your comments below. Um, I'll try and read out some of them on tomorrow's show, um, the comments that the, you, you leave today. But let me go through a few of the uh, comments. Um, I remember on Saturday, um, I was joined by Jack from the Global Gooners. And I asked him to rate like the top five... Uh, transfer targets, rate them out of 10, the likelihood of those happening. Um, I think one of, the, one of the ones that we rated quite highly, I think I remember me rating quite highly that's going to happen, was the Maratta one. Now that one looks like it's completely blown out of the window. I was saying 6 out of 10, that looks like it could be down to uh, 0 or maybe 1 out of 10 now. But let's go for Redeemer Unleashed. He said he rated Draxler 4 out of 10. Costa likely had to have that happening, 1 out of 10. Vucinic, 3 out of 10. Berbatov, 5 out of 10. And Martinez, 1 out of 10. Weren't it interesting on Saturday um, that Jack Wilshire come out and said that, you know, Berbatov's a great player. Um, when uh, Wenger said he wasn't interested in, in, in um, bringing in Berbatov, or he hadn't tried yet to bring in Berbatov, he also said he was a great player. You never, ever know. That still could happen. A lot of players, a lot of uh, fans weren't too happy with Berbatov's performance on Saturday, but you never know. Berbatov still could be one that could come from left field. Um, Jordan Fowler says, I don't want us to get Draxler. I think we have enough midfielders. However, I don't know who we get. Maybe Berbatov on a short term for the summer. Um, I think Wenger will go out and buy a big name striker in the summer. He said, My five dream strikers 
to come are uh, Dzeko, Mandzukic, Martinez, Barr or Lorente. I think that's definitely your dream, mate. Um, Brandon Rendell says uh, Draxler, he rates as a 5 out of 10 now. There's the likelihood of coming to Arsenal, but 7.5 in the summer, 0.5. Um, he rates Costa as a 6 now, but an 8 in the summer. Vucinic, he rates, rates as a 7 out of 10, so he thinks that could definitely happen. Berbatov, 4 out of 10, and he thinks Martinez, 8, but only in the summer. Um, London Gamer, 986, he says, I know he's been at Fiorentina for a time, but I'd love to see Mario Gomez. He's from Germany, so he'd fit in um, with Podolski, uh, Gnabry, Ozil, Mertesacker. Um, Barlin says um, he rates Draxler as an 8 out of 10 likelihood of coming. Berbatov, 5 out of 10. Costa, 2 out of 10. Morata, 6 out of 10. And uh, Martinez, Jackson Martinez, 3 out of 10. Uh, Jay, Jay Tmuk Jackson says we should offer Podolski plus cash for Draxler. No, I'm not having that. I want to see Podolski given more time and given a run to see what he can do. Um, Dib Shappy says um, he rates Draxler six out of uh, six point five out of ten. Costa two point five. Vucinic seven out of ten. So the Vucinic thing is starting to look a lot more likelier with a lot of fans out there. Berbatov six out of ten. Um, got any more here? <laughs> Ant Antwar eighteen. He says I rate all of them as a one out of ten. The likelihood of um happening. So he's obviously thinking that we're not going to sign anybody. And James Sav says Draxler is our answer to glory. Not sure if he's our answer to glory, but um, well the transfer room is still coming in. We just keep watching this space. We'll keep me updating you every day on what the rumours are, but those are the rumours for today. Make sure you leave your comments, um, let us know um, the players that you would like to see coming in, or the players that you think Arsenal are more likely to sign, if at all. Um, leave them in the comments below, and thank you for watching the AFTV Transfer Daily today. We will be back tomorrow with more transfer rumours.